At the outset, I would like to convey my gratitude to Sri Manoj Sinhaji, who just called me some a week back and said, No tariq ko ab kya kar rahe hai? Sir, abhi tak to kuch nahi kar rahe hai? To ab ko ana hai. And adesh hai to juru raungi. That brings me here. Then Niti came and we interacted. I was given the topic, can social impact be taught? Social impact cannot be taught. Social consciousness can be taught. Social impact is the result of a socially conscious mindset. So I'll be talking a little bit on that. I'll take you to the building blocks of ancient Indian education system. Dekhiye kya hai. And it's my promotion of social efficiency and happiness was already listed there, which we do not build our curriculum based on that. It talks about the emphasis on social duties. Some more principle, it says not imparting general knowledge but to train experts in different fields. It talks about that in professional education, the necessity of practical training was emphasized. I represent a B school and the biggest question which I always say, do we have a business model? The current education, management education, hai, it started in 1961. FMS was established in 1954. And in Calcutta, the School on Labor and Social Welfare also was established during that time. So, if we see this and if we go through the ancient roots of corporate entity, aapko ashcharj hoga, pehla reference corporate entity ka Rig Veda mein 800 BC mein aaya hai. And it was very well developed. If you pick up cultural history, Gupta dynasty or any dynasty and you see how welfare oriented they were, CSR bahut baad mein aaya. So, the cooperation of traders is as old as the time depicted to us in Jatak Katha Padli. Usme bhi iski charcha hai. The foundations of ancient Indian management was exclusively on moral values and ethics. And adherence to it was strongly emphasized and followed. This was in our ancient education system. When sang, when sang further talk, oh my God. When Sang further talks about the, the wealth of India. When Sang ki diary mein hai. So the individual according to the Indian scheme lays stress upon his duties. A right orientation is the western orientation. In 2002 I wrote a book on business and society. And which led to the international conference when I was at Han Calcutta and organized their business social partnership beyond philanthropy. And there we say that how the Tatas, for example, Aap Dekh Lije Murgappa group hai, Tatas hai, Wadia group of companies, they, uh, they have been existing for more than 200 years. How they were functioning? Hamari Yahan Guild was famous, Shreni, it was called Shreni, Shreni was famous. And then, how were these functioning? If you have the experience of having Satanarayan Katha at home, this may kata hai ki baniya apne damad ke saath vyapar ko jara tha or nauka doop jati. That means at that point of time, Trade was done through seas. So the historical account of organization and functioning of guild in ancient India, these are few references 
where you can find the details. So the setup of management institutes in India, George Robbins was called on the invitation of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru who came and George Robbins at that point was a spokesperson for business practices and ethics. What was the reason he never put ethics in IIMs and only in late 80s and Calcutta came up with the Management Center for Human Values. So focus on ethics and societal concern is missing from curriculum. We majorly follow Western education. So the present management education is a breadwinning education where pay package is more important than learning. The day a student comes, his mind is now trained for placement. Let's focus on human-centric approach for progressive growth, which is completely exteriorized in nature. So no connect between management education and nation building. So the connect always remains, how can I get a good placement? So can social impact be taught? and the role of educational institutions. Given this mindset, what I did when I joined as the head and dean at Faculty of Management Studies, we started exposing students to social justice and social cause. And we tried to revisit the model of management. So this is what the scripture talks, Tata that means there are for the obstruction. So how can we train our students to overcome the obstruction? And what we did, we adopted a village called Ramnagar. This is what we adopted at FMS. We adopted a village Ramnagar where our students go and work with the villagers. I also am the founder of Integrating the Spirituality and Organizational Leadership Foundation. An Academy of Value-Based Management is an integral part of that. Only on 3rd February, we launched our Center for Social Innovation and Entrepreneurship, where we adopted three villages to make it self-sufficient and sustainable model by focusing on women empowerment, health, in education and environment. So this is how we can <coughs> establish connect, but it is still remains as a philanthropy at B schools. It is not integral part of the curriculum. We need to revise the entire curriculum. When we revise the curriculum, we focus on content. So. We have to revisit the management education in India and try to integrate it with the social cause. So briefly, I thought I'll share this with the group. I now welcome questions.